Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to update number four on the HC6 build project, or what I like to call the Behemoth project. Now, this video is going to be covering the electronics of the vehicle, what I'm going to be putting in there. Also, talk about some parts that I got for the vehicle as well. So, let's go ahead and start with this stuff. Okay, so first off, it's the ESC. I went with a Hobby Wing uh, Quick Run Crawler Brush. Uh, ESC has 80 amps, suitable for 1 tenth and 1 eighth scale uh, RCs. Now this is a waterproof uh, ESC, also it's a fully programmable ESC, so you can go in there and change a lot of options, uh, you, you know, the throttle, your braking, uh, the drag, uh, a bunch of other things. I had to read up a little bit more. Uh, a lot of my crawling buddies recommended this for me, they were like, nope. We've had nothing but great things about this. Uh, it runs all right, you know, runs great, everything like that. And I was like, okay, you guys talked me into it. I'll get this. Now, uh, this right here, this ESC, uh, does not come with the motor lead, uh, motor leads. So you have to put your own motor leads on it. It also comes with, I think, a D3 or a C3 connector. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I had it actually swapped out and put on a Dean's connection because that's what I usually run is Dean's. Uh, so that's what I had to do on that. So I want to thank my buddy Drew for uh, soldering up the connections for me. I really do appreciate that. So yeah. Now let's talk about this servos. Now this truck's taking two servos to run. Uh, one for steering and one for the uh, two-speed transmission. So for the steering uh, servo, I decided to go with this EcoPower WP120T. Uh, this is a high voltage ESC, uh, 7.4 volts, and uh, delivers 400 ounces of torque at 7.4. Uh, if you're running at 6.0, you're doing about 380, I think 360, 380, somewhere in that general area. Uh, I love EcoPower. Uh, my buddy uh, Paul turned me on to this when I actually burned up my servo in the SEX-10 2 there. Uh, and I end up getting one of these and absolutely love it. Now the other ESC that I run, or not ESC, the other <laughs> servo that I'm running is a, uh, a, a servo I had laying around here. It's an old uh, Fertava servo. Uh, not exactly sure on how much torque it has and stuff like that. Uh, not, you know, I'm not really worried about that because it's just going for a two speed. It's just, you know, going for, you know, engaging the two speed and uh, disengaging it. So I'm not really worried about the torque ability and stuff like that. I, I don't care about that. You know, like I said, it's for a two speed. Okay, so uh, the next thing that I actually did pick up is a car sound and light uh, similar system. This is the GT Power uh, sound module. This thing's pretty awesome. It has a lot of different lights for the vehicle to make it fully function lights, uh, you know, headlights, reverse lights, tail lights, turn lights, you know, blinkers, everything uh, <laughs> that you could put for lighting. Now it also has the sound effects. It has 58 different sound effects and it's a programmable uh, sound effect. So you can go in there and you can program when you want it to shift when you want the turbo to come on, when you want the horn, what kind of horn you want. Uh, so a lot of cool things with this. I am going to be installing this later on in the uh, in the truck, but right now I just really want to get a general testing of the truck before I actually go throwing this thing in there with all these wires and stuff. I really just want to get the truck you know, um, tested out and see where I need to tweak at and stuff before I add any extra stuff in there but that is one thing that I will add to the truck it's just uh, like I said I gotta do my testing now uh, talk about my transmitter and controller that I'm going to be using uh, right here I have a uh, FlySky this is FlySky GT5 uh, it's a six channel 2.4 gigahertz controller really awesome controller. I got this a few months ago and I have not done a review video or unboxing of it I uh, just really never thought about doing it But I need to do it because this is an awesome controller for the price of it. It's under a hundred dollars and uh, Receivers are really cheap for this thing and uh, it's a great controller. I really like it uh, Here it is right, right there you go 
there it is. I just really like it. I like the LCD screen on it. Um, fits nice to my hand. Feels comfortable. Um, it's just an all-around great controller. So if you're looking for a decent controller under a hundred bucks or so, definitely look at doing the Fly Sky here because this actually can program up to ten different vehicles on this uh, <clears throat> on the controller, and you know so it's just a really awesome controller uh, I'm definitely glad I got it <laughs> uh, talk about some of the other parts uh, my servo horn I decided to go with the you know the steering servo horn I went with the pit bull uh, steering arm it's a 25t servo arm and uh, it seemed to be really cool you know it's like yeah you know I got it. I was like, you know, I want something that's going to be durable, something that's going to last. Because I bought some El Cheapo ones from uh, from eBay and Amazon and stuff like that, and they stripped out and uh, a few times of running and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I want to go with a brand that I know that it's going to last in this truck because I'm telling you, this is a heavy truck and uh, definitely needs all the strength, ability. Uh, for turning and stuff like that I want to make sure that everything is taken care of so that is the electronic part of the uh, <laughs> of this video like I do like I said I do have them installed right now but they're in a big mess the wires are not you know tucked up and hid and stuff like that so I don't really want to show that right now but I did just want to tell y'all the uh, electronics that I did get for the vehicle and uh, hopefully I'll be getting this thing done soon. I am getting close to the you know to getting this thing done. Uh, it's just going to be an awesome looking truck, and I think you guys are really going to like it. Uh, as you see the color scheme and the theme I'm going with and stuff like that, you're definitely going to love it. So yeah, so keep so make sure you keep watching the channel and uh, and uh, keep update on this this bill because it is epic and it's coming down to the wire and uh, yeah now uh, I also want to give thanks to my dad again I said it in part three uh, update number three actually my dad has been helping me on this bill from day one and I appreciate him so much for helping me on this there's no way that I could have got this truck done within that time frame it would have took me probably maybe a lot longer to get this truck done with you know, with the you know, those screws and the parts and stuff he's been 100 percent awesome and helping me with this truck and i appreciate him for that and uh yeah so uh yeah so thanks dad because i know he'll be watching my videos <laughs> all right my friends so stay tuned for update number five on the hc6 bill project or the behemoth project and uh, hopefully I will have it all finalized done up painted all that good stuff done to the truck and scale it out and do some pretty awesome videos all right my friends so thanks for watching and I will see y'all in the up next update video of the HC6 build project thanks for watching I'll see y'all later